Hi, this is a video showing changing the light bulb inside the 5518-5532 chambers. First thing you're going to do is turn off the chamber and unplug it. The next thing you got to do is loosen the nuts to bring down the light. So we open the door and I take my pad, stick this underneath the light, hold it up. Usually one side of the nuts you can just loosen, you don't have to take them all the way off. And the other side you're going to take them all the way off. These are just the four screws holding the light that go through the ceiling here. Okay, once we've got that loosened, take down the light. First we have to loosen the fresh bit. Once you have the light um, unbolted, then you need to come into the chamber cavity here and free up the wire. This is a 5518 chamber. It's different from the 5532 chamber. The pumps are different. The internal humidifier is not there, but the light and the wiring is the same, so this is still applies. So we're just going to cut free the cable ties on this wire here. Might be some on the floor too. Be careful not to cut the wire. free this up here and then we need to loosen these connectors here and separate those so we will grab our pliers here because they can be tight and separate these here Once you've had the wire freed up and the lights down, the next thing we have to do is access the light bulb in the tube. So we got to loosen this compression fitting for this wire here. And then loosen these three screws. These three screws tighten this o-ring that's inside here. As you loosen the screws, you'll see the tension come off the o-ring. Just a couple turns each at a time. And that frees out this end. And now you got to slide out the light tray and be careful not to scratch it against the surface of the acrylic tube here. So we'll pull out the light tray. Just take this out of the way. Next, you can remove this little plastic piece or metal piece here. And that exposes the light bulb, which you just simply turn clockwise pull out the bulb and to reinstall it there's little slots on the top so you have the two pins vertically align with the slots stick that in and twist until it locks in and then we put the plate back on here slide the tube back on here carefully not to scratch it Usually you want to have this on a flat surface to get it in here good. So I'll hold it in here flat with the other end flat and then we'll just go around and tighten these screws to tighten that compression ring again. 
And as you tighten it, you'll see the uh, rubber O-ring get squished in there. And that seals off the light. Once you see a good solid bead of that O-ring going around, that's pretty tight in there. And we want to tighten the compression fitting again. Give this a turn here. That's tight. And then we can start feeding the wire back through. We're going to need my pad again to mount the light. And Simply just remount the light, push the cable back through, hook that on the screws and nuts that are there. From here, you remount the light and then come back in here, connect your wires. You have black goes to red. Blue goes to white, and green goes to green. And then you would just cable tie it back down.